All right, we are back here for the Masters Males. They are going to be kicking off shortly in lane number one, the Fantastic Three. Lane number two, Pro Form Grinders. Lane three, Ice Ice Baby. Lane four, Two and a Half Men. Lane five, Warriors for Jesus. Lane six, MHC Masters Betas. <laughs> lane seven, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Lane eight, Bounty Cowboys. Lane nine, Master Scalers. Lane 10, By the Power of Grayskull. Lane 11, the BFGs. Lane 12, Snap, Crackle and Pop. Lane 13, Arts, Axes, Vikings. Lane 14, Team Diesel. And lane 15, Dano Forza. And off they go. 10 minutes of uh, a pain cave workout. Remember, they're going to have three rounds, these masters. Each round a little bit different than the other. They're going to start off with their toes to bar. And that is 16 reps. Then they're going to go on to burpee to pull up. Onto their rope climbs. Once they're done with their rope climbs, they'll head into that deadlift. Now, remember, this deadlift gets quite interesting. They can either choose to go a single athlete or they can go with a double athlete. And uh, so far, what we've seen, a lot of the teams are picking that double athlete doing the deadlift. But if you want, you can strategize and only have one athlete do it. It's 85 kgs throughout, so foundational all the way through to open. Everyone's doing 85 kgs. It'd be really interesting to see the strategies that have gone out. But from my knowledge and what I've been seeing uh, and seeing on the floor is that everyone that goes out and tries the single athletes, they don't do so well. Because what happens is that double athlete, they move so much faster on those deadlifts that by the time the single athlete is done, the other athletes are already on their handstand walks. So a lot of thought needs to go into this. You need to kind of think of how you're going to approach the system and uh, how you're going to get through this workout. But those handstand walks in the previous uh, heats with the, the scale division, we saw a lot of uh, athletes failing on those handstand walks, struggling. Remember, they've got a 2.5 meter increment that they need to get through. It is 15 meters total of handstand walks that they need to get. However, if you do not get to that 2.5 increment, you go back to the line that you started at. And I saw a couple of teams just getting hard stuck on uh, the first few segments of that 2.5 handstand walk. So that has been the absolute factor at the moment in uh, all the divisions that I've watched where that handstand walk is uh, catching a lot of these teams out. MHC, of course, MHC, as I mentioned last night, have a really, really big... Um, showing here and some great shots there you can see a couple of mhc teams here and there we have i'm assuming jean because he's got jean on his chest there doing some uh, single is he by himself no he's actually got a double with him a partner with him no he is doing singles jean is doing singles and he actually did really well he he beat everyone there so uh, maybe uh, my little theory there not coming to fruition however i'll stick to my guns i'll say the double is the way to go the only problem with the doubles, you obviously risk uh, not getting that uh, weight up at the same time and then that bar starts wobbling in the hands. And you don't want that bar wobbling in the hands because remember, this is a grip intensive workout. And if your grip starts bombing out, and especially with those deadlifts, if you're bouncing the one weight on the other side, that vibration on the bar, I know it sounds ridiculous, but trust me, <laughs> your grip will start uh, taking a hampering and that's going to cost you on those rope climbs as we get further and further into this workout. Great shots here, once again, from the cameraman, making sure that they get you all the action. See, most of these teams all on round number two here for the toes to bar. A 
And you can see there some athletes moving on to the rope climb. These athletes are allowed to use their feet, so they are allowed to use a J-hook uh, or wrap the rope around their leg to get up to the top. Remember, both hands need to go over the line at the top there. You can see just getting a few instructions there from the head judge, asking a couple of questions here. And it is really hot on this floor. And you'll see the later rounds, you'll see when uh, the opens come on. This floor is going to get exceptionally hot, and especially for that final, a little bit later today. Uh, that floor, uh, that terrestrial radiation, that heat coming off the floor is quite ridiculous. I was on the floor a little bit earlier on, just catching a little bit of content there for our uh, reels for Instagram. So make sure that you check out our next reel that will be going out in a little bit. Make sure that you go onto Instagram, hit that follow button like will help us out, out a little bit yeah and there mhc the big man on the left there just absolutely destroying it very very strong man and it looks like we got a nice little competition here between lane number two and from what i can see lane number five That is Proform Grinders and Warriors for Jesus. They are moving on to round number three. And remember, remaining time of round number three will become its own mini AMRAP. Obviously, it's 10-minute AMRAP to get to round number three. But once you're in round number three, you'll repeat that. You won't go back down to round one. You'll stay in round three. And uh, you'll complete the work in round number three as many times as you can. catching some shade there just behind the rig everyone got their sunnies out here it's quite bright actually out there uh, i don't think the cameras are doing too much justice in terms of how bright it is but uh, when i went out there earlier i was squinting quite a lot there's a lot of white uh, around there and that uh, is also affecting the athletes a little bit see some of those athletes they're already on that, that bar muscle up so what happens is one athlete will hang the other athlete will do the bar muscle up nice little pan there from our cameraman and there you see that little bounce there hands coming loose Gotta make sure you chalk up, especially in this heat as well. You're gonna be sweating a little bit more than what you used to. Remember, we've just come out of that winter season. You haven't been sweating as much. And now all of a sudden we throw you onto this hot floor, a lot of terrestrial radiation. So uh, the guys are gonna be sweating just that much more. So you gotta make sure that those hands are chalked up nicely. And also just to save that grip, the more, the damper your hands are, the more that bar is going to move around, the more you're going to be activating those muscles in the hands as well as the forearms. And you don't want that forearm pump. Once that forearm pump kicks in, these athletes are going to struggle to climb that rope. Loving that tie dye t shirt there. I think uh, suiting the theme feels like we, we're having a party out here at the battle powered by Puma. And then of course, My Fitness. My Fitness uh, bringing you all the equipment here at the battle this year. And a little bit of a chicken wing there. What he wants to do is he actually wants to try to get up nice and high and then flare those elbows. A lot of people, they'll favor the right hand side if they are right handed or left handed. Uh, then they'll obviously use the left hand side. But what you want to try to do is flare those elbows at the same time. As soon as those hips are nice and high, uh, close to the bar, then you flare those elbows and you should get up nicely. And there again, favoring the one side. But you see how he flares on the right hand side. There we go, that was a bit better. He flared both elbows, got over the bar nicely, and uh, able to get that bar muscle up. As we watch, 
a couple of uh, the handstand walks yet. Coming up to that one minute mark, sands of time running out for these athletes to get those reps in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you subscribe, like, and then hit that bell notification button so that you know exactly when we upload our next videos. Next up, as this heat almost runs out here, we have 30 seconds left. We have our Masters heat number two. Remember, we're only covering the top two heats of each division. So if you want that camera time, make sure that you fight your way into that top 30 and there we have it time done and dusted here for masters heat number one don't go anywhere we'll be back for heat number two of the masters division here at the battle 2023 powered by puma